Chinese guarding Allen. On the, he goes in there hard for the rebounds. Isaiah can almost hit and go get it. But everybody else, if you're going to, but the thing is, if you're going to face guard him, then you shouldn't get the defensive rebound. You should just be in front of him, and he does not run in there and get that rebound. I don't care if you hold and make him take the ball out. Don't let him get second chance points. When we we got that ball tonight, drive, drive in here, make these referees make a call. Here again, see how quick his release is. He's always ready to shoot the ball. Stepped in, left, right shot. No, if you see him double stack, this is what they're doing. I mean, everybody runs this play. Curling through, they're just going to try to screen in and get that ball into Allen right there. All right, let's go downstairs. Get done with that and we'll get out of here. Very good offensively, shoot a bunch of threes. Uh, I've been here before a couple years ago, and the environment's always great. Packed house, it's always a fun game. Uh, really intense. My mistake about rebounding is I got to get everything to come up the rim. You know, my teammates box out for me, for me to release and get the rebound. I got to get all the, every offensive rebound I can get. Uh, two eight championship tonight. You know, it's kind of a new event. You know, it's four or five years old in the state, but anytime you get a chance to play for any kind of championship, you got to take it to the best advantage. Really, it's bigger than a district tournament. Uh, even though it's during the season, you know, it's harder to win more games than a district tournament. Then if you get a chance to compete for a state title, you know, that's always fun to do. Uh, you know, you got the All-A Classics big, and then hopefully this will get a little bit better marketing going forward because it's got a chance to be a good event too. We made it two years ago to Owensboro, so we didn't have a good showing when we got up there, so we want to kind of redeem ourselves getting by a tough LaRue County team tonight if we can and then get to Owensboro and have a good shot at, uh, you know, maybe getting far in that tournament, uh, maybe winning a state title. Um, tonight's game, you know, LaRue's tough. they got a great coach, one of the best coaches in the fifth region history. Then, they, you know, they got a great player already signed with Thomas Moore. He had some D1 offers, Daniel Allen. Got good size. Their guards are kind of young, so hopefully uh, maybe we can take advantage there. That's going to be a big key if we can exploit their guards young. When, we, when our guards were young, they used to get exploited, so that's what kind of we're going to hopefully do tonight. Um, but you know, the Roos going to be a tough team. It's, you know, two of the top three, top four teams in the region. But you know, obviously we're the best two in the section because we're the last two standing. So hopefully one of us that advance tonight. It's going to be us. Good atmosphere over here. Uh, I'm proud of the way we came back. You know, it ain't good enough though. I mean, you play the, you play these games to win or lose. That's why they keep score. So we're not walking out here happy that we made a good run second half and we came back. I mean, you know, it's not good enough. But, you know, we want to win a regional title. We wanted to win a sectional title in 2A and we came up short on that. But, you know, we know that. But the biggest things I thought the game, um, we shot six for 27 from the three point line. And we had a lot of looks we would usually hit, I would think. Um, the way they pack, the way they pack, play their defense, we had a lot of looks that I think we didn't think we was going to be open. So next time, I think we'll be ready and uh, shoot them a little quicker than that. And then, you know, I thought Connor, I don't think he thought he was going to be open on that last one there. I thought he could have pulled that three and let it go uh, right there because the guy backed up and they kind of collapsed on Blaine. But again, Connor played well going down. Everybody played well. They competed. We did a good job on Allen in the second half. I kind of challenged them at halftime. Uh, I thought Blakey and Allen wore us out. First half, second half, we did better. And I think we also seen them crash the offensive glass on them guys and get a lot of stuff right there. So, you know, those positives take out of it because you know even though we want to win this 2A we do get to play tomorrow or next week whatever the season's not over yet so once we get to uh, March you know when it's winter go home so if we see them again we might play in regular season again if not see them again you know it's winter go home at that point but you know we didn't quit at least we competed it was the biggest thing we had a shot to win it at the end it's going to go down but six for 27 from three we usually won't do that again.